Hi guys, welcome back to Making Food Monday. This week we're gonna make an all new Parmesan chicken. This week it'll be spinach garlic Parmesan chicken. For today's recipe, we are going to need butter, salt, garlic powder, pepper, Parmesan cheese, you can use fresh if that's what you've got, or you can use this stuff in the can, like I am. You need some heavy cream, some chicken bouillon powder, some garlic, mushrooms if you'd like to add them. I am going to add them this time. I need an onion, I need some spinach, and the star of today's show is going to be our chicken. I am using chicken tenders. You can also use chicken breasts. You're just gonna cut them into strips. And that is all we should need for our recipe today, guys. The very first thing I'm gonna do today is dice my onion. Going into our pot today is about two tablespoons of butter. And as usual, I'm not going to measure it. I'm just gonna throw some fat down in the bottom of my pot. And then I'm gonna drop down here to my sear roast function. I'm gonna get that started. Then once my butter is melted, I'm gonna go ahead and add my diced onions. Then I'm going to drop in three teaspoons of garlic. There's one, there's two, there's three teaspoons of garlic. I'm also gonna add half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of pepper, and one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of salt. Then I'm gonna go ahead and stir this together. Then I'm going to add in my chicken tenders. I've got approximately four pounds of chicken tenders. The recipe really only calls for about a pound and a half to two pounds, but I'm gonna double my chicken because I think the pot will handle it, and we like a lot of chicken. And I'm gonna add my frozen chicken just like that right on top. Just like that. Then I'm going to add my mushrooms. I'm gonna go ahead and add all eight ounces of my sliced mushrooms right on top. Just like that. And the last thing I'm gonna add to my pot is two teaspoons of chicken bouillon powder. And I'm gonna just kinda try to sprinkle those, that chicken bouillon powder over my mushrooms to flavor those mushrooms. And two teaspoons right on top of those mushrooms. And that's it guys, we're gonna seal up our pot. I'm gonna drop down here to my chicken function because that's my high pressure. I'm gonna bring the time cook down to just 10 minutes and get that started. Now I did not add any water to my pot and that is because I have a lot of water stored up in that frozen chicken. If you're not using frozen chicken, you might wanna add a quarter cup, maybe even up to half a cup of water to your pot. Uh, I just added the chicken bouillon powder instead of adding actual chicken broth because I knew I had a lot of stored up water. While my chicken is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up about three ounces of fresh spinach. And I know it's really hard to judge how much three ounces is, so instead I'm just gonna go for about a cup of chopped spinach. Okay guys, my time has expired. It's time to let my pressure. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and open it up. Mmm, it smells really tasty already, you guys. We'll go ahead and give everything a quick stir, kind of break up our chicken that's bound to be stuck together a little bit. Then I'm going to remove the chicken from the pot. Once I have removed all of the chicken, I'm just gonna set that in the microwave so that it'll stay warm. And now I'm gonna work on building my sauce. The first thing I'm going to add back to my pot is my chopped spinach. And it goes. Then I'm going to add one cup of heavy cream. One cup of heavy cream and half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And then we are going to mix that all together. And now I've got a couple of options. I can keep it just the way that it is, or I can thicken it with either cornstarch or flour. I think I'm going to use a cornstarch slurry to thicken mine. You can thicken yours the way you like, or you can leave it like it is. So I'm gonna add my cornstarch slurry to my pot. Then I'm gonna cancel that keep warm function and turn on my sear roast function and get that started. And then I'll just keep stirring this until it gets to the thickness that I like. 
And once your sauce thickens the way you would like, I'm gonna slide my chicken right back into the pot and get this served up. And there we have it guys, spinach garlic parmesan chicken. Okay, Jax, I've got it made and it's plated and it smells delicious. Now all we need are our Denny eggs. Do it. Denny eggs. I am garlic. <laughs> Those are some jammied up guinea pigs. And the dad. I'm not jammied up. Nope, dad, sort of. Sort of jammied up. Uh, who mm. thinks it smells awesome? Oh, me. Mm, so good. Who should go first? Okay, Mia. <laughs> Thank you. So I served the kids' over pasta. Daddy and I just have the chicken and the sauce. So Mia doesn't like it. Do you like it? How many... Are those thumbs? How many thumbs are you going to give it? This many. <laughs> Infinity? But if anybody says equal or the same or anything that means that, I'm still higher. Hmm. All right, I'll or take it. Or higher. Um, who's next? Jaxie. That's good. I like it. You like too it? Too much? Oh, he <laughs> likes it too much. I didn't know that was possible. How many thumbs are you going to give that, Jax? One more than me. I'll take it. Thanks, Jax. All right, Jordan, it's all you. It smells really good. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. I can definitely taste the mushroom, which is good. Chicken's tender and it's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> How many thumbs are you gonna give that, Jordan? 0 0.0000001 less than me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Dad? Yes. All you, man. It smells amazing. Delicious. It does smell really good. And it looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Oh, man. I take it you like it. Oh. Mm. Wow, that sauce is good. Creamy, no, it's garlicky, but it's not like too garlicky. I can definitely taste the Parmesan cheese. It gives it texture. Oh, the flavor is just so good. And with this mushrooms, oh man. Mm. Mm. So Dad doesn't like it. How many wow, thumbs are you good. gonna give that, Dad? Oh, I'm gonna give it more than everybody in the world. <laughs> Can't give it more than Mia. Mm. <laughs> Wow, this is good, yep. Okay guys, my final thoughts. I think this recipe is very, very tasty. There's not a lot that I would change about it. It's it's rich, it's thick, it's tasty. Like, there's not a lot about it that I could really even fault. But I do think that a thickener needs to be added to the recipe because it's just far too thin without it. So you can thicken it the way that you wanna thicken it, but I went ahead and thickened it with cornstarch and it worked out beautifully. It was nice and thick and tasted good. And uh, yeah, it worked out really well with the kids' pasta and dad and I enjoyed it with just the chicken and the sauce. This one's so good, we're gonna give it two thumbs up. Everybody was fighting over who could have more thumbs, but I only have two, so I'm gonna give it both. Spinach garlic Parmesan chicken. Yes or no? Yes. I think it got a big resounding yes from everyone. Jackson and Malia both had extra pasta and extra sauce. Jordan got extra everything and uh, it was delicious. Everyone everyone thoroughly enjoyed this dinner. Um, I don't think there's anything we can do to improve it, but I think we will be making it again because it's quite easy and quite tasty. Um, but guys, it's time to put my Smarty Pants to bed. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or make this channel strong. Share it with your friends and not good night, YouTube. See you tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. Let's get it. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Poof. This one is super good. I'm glad you liked it.